Hello everyone and welcome back. We are going to continue our study of CSS by talking about borders. Now every item in here has an invisible border to it right now. The border has zero thickness, zero size, but it's there and it exists. But what we want to do is actually add the borders and make it so that you can see them. So you'll notice I have an H1, I have a div surrounding three paragraph tags. So if I come over here, let's say we wanted to make the H1 and give it a border. Oops. H1. And the way that you do that is you can add three properties. Border color. Let's say that it's blue. And that will be the color of the border. So if I save and refresh, nothing happens. Why not? The reason is because the border has, still has zero thickness. There's nothing there. It's blue, but it doesn't exist. So the second property you have to set is border width. And you can set that using a variety of sizes. I'm going to set it to two pixels. Save and refresh. And there's still nothing. Because we haven't set the border style. Border style. And you'll almost always see solid. Almost always it will be solid. There are others. But now when we refresh, we have a border. We have a solid blue two pixel border. We can make this smaller and larger. Let's make it five pixels. We can make it red. And we can make it, I don't know, dotted. And it looks like that, or dashed. Looks like that. Like I said, you're almost never, ever gonna use anything other than solid. So solid is the way to go, unless you have a very specific design scheme, you wanna use one of those other ones. You have those options, you are, are the web designer, but just keep that in mind. So right now, in order to set a border, we're having to set three separate properties. This is a lot of typing, and this is not dry. Fortunately, CSS gives us a shortcut. We can do border, 5px solid, oops, 5px solid red. And you put all three in there and it does the exact same thing. 5px dotted, oops, dotted blue. Do 10px solid green. Notice how it's getting thicker. 1px solid green. So you can play around with it and find it, but notice that it goes around the entire element. The entire element, not just the content inside the element. It goes around the whole thing. This is very useful if you are debugging your CSS, trying to figure out why your stuff's not stacking up the way it's supposed to. Put a border on everything, and you can see exactly where the element itself starts and ends. So if we wanted to add a border to the p tags, you might do border 2px solid, and you'll do an RGBA of 200, 20, 50, 0 0.3. Refresh, and now they have this little border around them. Did you notice how they shifted down a little bit? Because borders take up space. If you don't have a border, let me comment this out, they're a little bit closer together. If I do have a border, they're farther apart. And we'll talk about that border size and how it takes up space and all that stuff later on. It, it does become very important when we start talking about the box model, but for now, just kind of keep it in the back of your head. So that is the syntax for adding a border to something. Border, and then you add those three things, the size or width in this case, the type or the style, and then the color. And one more thing about borders I want to talk about is border radius. What that allows you to do is add curve to your borders. So let's make this border a bit thicker so we can see it easier. Let's make it solid 10. Now it's that big. Border radius, say 10 pixels. And now it's curved. You see how it's curved? 100 pixels. Now it's curved like that. Well, it's hard to see. Let's zoom in some. You can see that your content will overlap your border if you're not careful if you if you do too much so if i make move that back to 10 see how that just kind of rounds the corners a little bit you can also use percentages so like 10 percent it looks a little bit different if i do 50 percent whoa that's a lot so you just play around with those there is math behind this if you want you can pull up the mdm docs you can see kind of what they look like right here. Notice that you can apply two different styles if you want. If you want things to happen like that, you can do two, and it'll do top left, bottom right, top right, bottom left. 
you can apply all four, so you make it look kind of strange like that. So you have those options, um, and there is, let's see, there is math to it. So you can length or percentage, I don't, I, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I don't understand the math, I just play around with it until I get it to look like I want. Um, but there is math behind it. That's it. Let me know if you have any questions, I'll be happy to help. Thanks.